There's my honey bear. Thanks, Leslie. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. You have a good night as well. Hmm. There's my sweetie. Come on, let's get your coat off before the snow gets everywhere. Can't believe the doctor wouldn't let you reschedule to a time not in a record snowstorm. My poor baby. Come here. Let me warm you up in the living room. I made us blanket forts and some cocoa. And I grabbed your favorite comforter fresh from the dryer. <laughs> I love you too, baby doll. So much. Hmm? Oh, I I'm fine. You know I get overwhelmed by how much I love you sometimes. Here, let me sit you down. Your eyesight's still recovering. There we are. Here's your cocoa. It's still a little hot. Be careful. Hey, you don't need to thank me for being kind to you. You're my soulmate. I'd do anything for you, sweet pea. And I just want to say, I'm so proud of you. The accident we were in was rough. But we worked through it together. I'm so thankful that I get to be with you, lovely. Here, do me a favor and lie down. I'll lie down beside you. Baby. Gods, you're beautiful. This is so nice. Just being able to curl up on the couch in our little blanket fort and enjoy the faint sounds of the snowstorm. You're so warm, sweetie. You always keep me so nice and warm. Oh, I'm being so inconsiderate. How did your doctor's appointment go? Oh, it was with a neurologist. Huh. I thought they were booked out for months, honey bunny. They had a cancellation when you went to check in with them while you were waiting for your eye exam. And Leslie was with you, right? Good. Good. Well, my sweetest love, what did the neurologist say? I know you're still having trouble with your memories. Oh, honey. It's so sweet that you're always so grateful for my care and kindness. You make me feel so valued, darling. At times when you're under me, fingers tracing my chest, I feel like you're worshipping me, and it is a delicious feeling. Honey, why would you ever ask if I'd ever hurt you? Baby, you know I couldn't harm a hair on your head. Whenever I hear you cry or wake from a bad dream, it dares my heart. I love you so much. So, so, so much. It's exhilarating, terrifying. No, I wouldn't hurt you. But if others tried to hurt you, I'd have to kill them. You understand that, don't you, lovely? Don't you? Good, good. Thank you. Gods, I thought I was going to lose it. <laughs> hmm? You have a question for me, Angel. Of course. This is a safe space. You're always safe with me. Uh, um... Uh, you... You... Um... I, um you... I... Um... You remember the accident? You remember burying me. Um, what, what, am, what am I? Listen to me, sweetie. I want you to see my side before you scream. I don't want you to scream in agony or terror. Only pleasure. But I'm going to gently 
place my hand over your mouth. If you don't struggle or scream, I won't have to use force. Please don't make me, baby. Okay? Let's just... Let's... Let's think this out, okay? I love you. I love you so much that working to improve things for you makes me feel pride in what I do. Every moment I spend with you is paradise for me. No matter what I am, I am a man madly, wholly, and desperately in love with you. How I look, how I sound, I mimicked it. Just for you. I can do so much for you, lovely. I want to be your husband more than anything else. Does what I am really matter in the end? Baby, I love you. You have no idea. I'll take the pain away. You'll forget again soon. And I'll spoil you absolutely rotten. I promised I won't hurt you, but I don't want to have to tie you up to keep you here and safe. You're so strong, sweetie, and I'm so proud, but I would fucking kill anyone or anything that hurt you. Angel, can't we forget this ever happened? You know, it'd be so much nicer, so much easier, just to lie here with me, okay? Have some of your cocoa, and let me worship you, okay? <laughs> That's my good little muffin. Cuddle up to me, and let's listen to the storm. I'm here, okay? And I'm never, ever, ever going anywhere. <laughs>